What's going on everybody welcome back to another video here on the channel and today we're going to be talking about something a little bit different because I've kind of noticed that I've been getting a lot of emails of this kind recently and it's been pretty suspicious right like I get all kinds of different emails and I get all kinds of different offers for sponsorships and things like that a lot of the time it doesn't really work out whether or not I want to do them or not it is definitely a big factor in things but here recently I've been getting these very fishy looking ones right and it seems like I'm not the only person getting these and I think that this might be like the next major wave of quote-unquote scams going on on YouTube because if you guys have been keeping up with everything there have been a few major recent waves of different kinds of scams and issues going across YouTube where people get really weird emails that try to get you to log in through your YouTube or Google account. That way they can essentially just get the information for your account and they can steal the account. And then what's also happening is a lot of these accounts that are being hijacked are then being flipped for profit primarily to like cryptocurrency where people will basically take the channel and its following and re kind of create or rebrand it as a cryptocurrency channel so i think that's what's going on here i'm not 100 percent certain but these are definitely some very odd emails that i have been getting and i think that people should be aware of these so i have three of these that i'm going to be showing you guys here because i think that they are the ones that really bring out the problems with this and we're going to break them down of course and kind of you know highlight some of the issues with them that I think can be useful in determining whether or not anyone else getting these kinds of offers can kind of see if they're fake. So the first major detail that you're going to notice about all these emails that I'm about to show you throughout this video is that they're always trying to promote some sort of computer software. Now, of course, I am more than willing to promote software if it's software that, number one, I actually would use or have used before, and number two, it actually exists. Now, when you get these kinds of emails and they look really fishy and fake, the big dead giveaway really is that they're all not only kind of worded the same, but at the same time, they're all trying to sell the same kinds of things. I've noticed that the big ones that really are apparently now needing promotion from YouTubers are antivirus softwares or antivirus softwares, PC cleaning and file management softwares, or some sort of vague security software where they have not detailed really anything that this service actually does. These aren't video editors. These aren't VPNs. It's nothing that you would expect anyone like myself to actually promote. These are things that, first off, are already sketchy to promote in the first place because many of the popular malware that you'll end up seeing throughout the internet or realistically a lot of malware and different sorts of viruses and issues that will arise on your computer realistically are branded as these kinds of programs where you can download a program that'll boost your computer speed by 300% and clear away all viruses 100% guaranteed in the next thing you know. You have 15 Trojan fucking viruses on your computer and you have no idea what's going on. You're being hit from all angles. So, and I've been doing this for a while. Never have gotten any kinds of offers from these kinds of companies or anything before, but all of a sudden now they're flooding the inbox. So the first one that I want to show you guys here is an antivirus or antivirus. It's supposed to be at least. So let's go ahead and take a look. Hello, I'm a representative of Wicreate Security and I'm a public relations agent. We are a new company. Our company is developing an antivirus. With the help of our program, you can clean your computer from viruses. I would like to know if it's possible to order ads on your YouTube channel. How much do you want to receive for advertising? If you agree, how much do you want to get from your work? Our company is ready to pay well for your work. If you're ready to cooperate with our company, write to us and we will send you further instructions. Okay, so this email is a major red flag. Not just because of the software, not just because it's an untrusted product, quote unquote, because obviously it's not a brand that you're going to recognize or anything right off the rip. But let's really break all this down. As somebody who gets, I would say, a pretty decent amount of these different sponsorship offers from legitimate companies, might I add, the way that this was written is completely illegitimate under any circumstances. They reiterated the same point like four times in a row, and it all focuses around how much you're going to get paid. Notice there's no details about the project or anything that's going on with this software. The only thing they tell you is that it'll clean your computer from viruses, which everyone knows what an antivirus does. And then here's something else that I've noticed with this. A lot of the time, they will tell you that it's a brand new company or a brand new project that is being worked on 
owned by said company. But brand new companies almost never have the advertising budget to actually go and do something like this, to just pour money out in YouTube sponsorships. They're more worried about actually developing the project or the product that they're actually trying to promote. And most of the time, they will try to promote it through more traditional means like other forms of internet advertising. And then with that also being said, the email claims that this is a brand new company but yet they have a public relations agent. Just like I said with, you know, trying to get YouTubers to advertise the product itself, most of the time no new company is going to have the budget to hire a specific public relations agent and to have somebody like that on salary. That gets pretty expensive. And even if this was some sort of public relations agent, which, you know, that's a pretty formal title, right? You know, this is what you do for a living. No public relations agent would ever write an email like this whatsoever. I mean, this looks like it was written by like a 14 year old child or like it was written with scam in mind so i mean pretty much obviously i would say either a fake offer or they're trying to promote some sort of scam now the next one is just a tad bit different here this comes from someone named elisa about youtube integration from elisa hey there Hope that you're doing well. My name is Elisa. I'm experienced PR manager. I would like to know if you could provide pre-roll and mid-roll on your channel for Messenger. The product is Messenger for Windows called Floxes. It already has 35k of users. Now available on Windows, Android, and iOS are not finished yet. We have a good budget. Kind regards, Elisa. So, if you've been following along, you will notice that this is written almost the exact same as the last one. It has the product name, it's something that when you Google search it does not show up whatsoever, even though it apparently has 35,000 users, which, if it was that much of an established product, it would actually have some sort of backing in search engines, and on top of that, none of these emails ever provide you a link to the product, or even like a website that would be showing the product off for the company. As a matter of fact, none of them even give any sort of company contact, which most of the time if you're getting a legitimate offer from a reputable brand, they will not only leave their email, their personal phone number, any fax information, but they will also leave, you know, which headquarter or which department that they work in. If it's a company that has like four or five headquartered locations throughout the world, they will leave that branch. They will leave any pertinent information that you would need to actually contact them and to kind of confirm things. Once again, the grammar is piss poor at best, and nobody who is a quote-unquote experienced PR manager would write this poorly. If they were, they should be fired on the spot and should be completely barred from working in this kind of field ever again. And just to show you guys what at least I get when I search up this program that already has some sort of quote-unquote established base of users, this is what pops up. You'll notice there's nothing about this application anywhere, and any company that apparently has this kind of money would make sure that they have search engine optimization for their product and on top of that would make sure that it's being advertised once again in more traditional means so taking a look here at the third email uh, this one, once again, just a tad bit different because they actually use emoji in this one, which, like I've said now, um, any company that is actually trying to formally reach out to somebody almost would never use a fucking emoji in their email trying to contact you about legitimate business. Hello, thank you for your response, big smiley face. Our project is antivirus software, FastLom a platform which is complex consisting of protecting services for your PC. I almost had a stroke trying to read that. But we're counting on three commercials from you. One pre-roll and two later end roll videos. To kind of clear things up, a pre-roll is an advertisement that plays entirely before the video or is maybe like a minute to three minutes in the video. That's considered a pre-roll. An end roll advertisement is like those ones like with a product like Audible. I've seen them do a lot of end roll videos where someone at the beginning will say something like, this video was sponsored by blank. And then at the end, that's when the advertisement comes. That way you can watch the entire video. The ad isn't very intrusive. But in this circumstance here, they, they kind of just want a mixed bag here so generally you don't need to make three different videos you only need to make one video which you can use several times the link to our service will need to be fixed in the description of every video with commercial we are committed to long-term cooperation and can offer you redacted for one commercial or redacted for three the grammar i shouldn't even have to say anything is just so goddamn bad that i could have honestly believed that english was this person's like 19th language you know well anyway on top of that no company that is being formal would ever think that somebody who does business like this is this stupid. I understand that the link to the service has to be in the description of every video. I understand these terms that they're trying to kind of like play down, but on top of that, almost no reputable product will ever want you 
to just make one advertisement that can just be thrown into videos. They want you to be creative, they want you to be unique, and they want you to kind of show your personality through the ad and make it different, that way people who are watching your videos consistently don't notice that you're using the same goddamned advertisement. Now, all three of these, I would say, are fake, without a doubt. I think all the evidence is really there in plain sight. I think pretty much anybody can look at these and say, this doesn't seem legitimate, and if they are actually legitimate, then they need to stop focusing on getting YouTubers to promote their product and they need to start focusing on actually building a goddamn brand because none of these things make any sense. None of these products have any sort of relevancy, anything like that. Now, you might be sitting there like, oh, Optimus, oh, bro, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, what could honestly be the point of doing this? Well, here's where the tinfoil hat comes on and conspiracy mode kind of breaks out because, well, with these emails, like I said, there's been all kinds of different scam attempts and stuff going on with YouTubers' business emails where they basically want to hijack your channel, sell it for profit, things like that. I mean, it's a legitimate business at this point. So what I honestly believe is going on with these emails, and I mean, it, it, this is more or less just speculation for the record, but what I honestly think is going on with these videos is they want you not only to reply, but they want to strike up a conversation in which they can say something and basically get your information. Now, a good way that they could do this is to say, we need access to your channel analytics, because I mean, that's the people who obviously are going to be seeing the advertisement, and we want to make sure that it really fits in with our brand and the market that we're trying to fit our ourselves into, would it be okay if you shared access to your account so we can see that information? And then once you do that, goddamn, I mean, they got everything, right? So another thing that I've been considering, and this doesn't really, I guess, go down the path of Haxer Man Takes YouTube channel, but another thing I've been considering here is maybe these are actual programs, maybe Flouxes and whatever all their names are, right? Maybe they're legitimate projects that they've been working on, but there's almost no chance that if that's the case, these products actually do what they're intended to do. Perhaps another thing going on here is maybe they want me to, let's say, promote this product across a video or something, get hundreds of thousands of people potentially to see this, and, you know, some of them go and download this product. It can be essentially anything. I mean, it can be spyware, it can be malware, it can keylog computers if we're getting really technical and I guess, like, I guess trying to freak people out kind of mode, but who knows what this software would actually do, but I can almost guarantee, considering the timing, the details within these emails, that actually, you know, was a near rhyme, but there's almost no chance in hell that these are actual products that are going to do what they are supposed to be doing. I mean, you're not getting an antivirus software from these. You're not getting a messenger for Windows. You're not getting anything like that. I wanted to make this video not only to let other YouTube creators know about what's going on here and to keep your eyes peeled, but also to let people out here who maybe don't have a couple hundred thousand subs know because honestly, I don't know how sponsorships are going for smaller channels. I don't know if 10,000 sub channels are out here getting these kinds of offers and things, but I want to make sure the more people that I can get to know about this, I can actually pull it off. You know what I'm saying? I don't want this to be information that maybe a few people know about now. To actually add to my point, and this I guess shows that I mean, I'm not the only person getting these kinds of goddamn things here. You guys might know about the YouTuber Memology101, right? Well, he actually commented on my Twitter post about this and said, I have 30 plus emails like these. I just ignore them. Those are the ones stealing your logins with keyloggers once you install their software to test it. So apparently I'm not the only person who thinks that this is kind of a uh, fishy, if you know what I mean. But just keep your eyes out, guys. Keep your eyes peeled. Make sure you don't get your shit taken. That would really suck. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on my channel. Follow me over on Twitter at Subtoptimus. I post memes, thoughts, and updates like this one over there as well. Surefire way to get notifications of all my newest content. Make sure to check out tube down below. Lots of great things going on down there as well. And thank you to my channel members because your support helps my channel tremendously. And well, until my next video, guys, this is Optimus selling you guys OptClean, the software that cleans your computer, gets you a boyfriend or girlfriend, deposits $1 million into your bank account, and well, steals your personal information, and signing out.